The SimVenture Evolution interface is divided into four areas. The main screen displays the various pages of the sections within the simulation. Pages can be accessed via the navbar, which folds away to provide more screen space when working with a tablet. The menu bar remains visible at all times, displaying the title of the current activity, the company name and logo, along with the current quarter. It also includes functionality to help you work with the simulation. The map acts as an alternative navigational tool, mirroring the content of the navbar in an expanded format. The Run Quarter button opens the final check screen, allowing you to see how your time and money is being allocated before you confirm that you wish to advance your company through the next quarter, or cancel to amend your decisions. The Menu button provides access to a range of largely administrative functionality. If available, your rewind options will also be shown here. The Highlight button can be toggled to reveal explanations of terms within the simulation as you navigate from page to page. When you first begin using the simulation, it's useful to keep this activated until you become accustomed to the terms being used. The Help button explains the functionality of the current page. It's designed to help you understand the layout and functionality of the different parts of the interface. The briefing section was covered in the previous video, but note that here there are different tabs for a different scenario. The history page gathers together all the data you need to be able to monitor, analyse and forecast business performance. You'll refer to this section regularly to check the outcomes of your decisions as you progress with your simulated business. The mail section allows you to exchange messages with your coordinator within the system. The journal allows you to make notes to record an account of the progress of your company. In the Advisor section, you'll find answers to key strategic questions in relation to running your virtual business. The Company page allows you to add a personal touch by creating your own company name, logo and strapline. When working as a team, you can also see the name of your team members and assign roles to each of them should you wish. The Leaderboard tab allows you to keep up to date with how you're progressing compared to other teams within the same activity. Each business area contains a change strategy screen, allowing you to specify the details of your decisions. Once confirmed, the overview screen updates to reflect your changes. Tabs within each of the business areas provide more detailed information to help you understand the choices, limitations and impacts of each decision you make. The status bar changes as you navigate between the four different departments. It provides information about time, costs and efficiency, as well as your current cash position. More details are easily accessed using the Highlight button. 